Hello everybody and welcome to our second edition of Autocomplete FAQs with moi. Today's topic is under eye fillers. Now we get asked about this a lot. Can under eye filler cause swelling? Well, short answer, yes, it can. But the swelling is usually short-lived if we don't use too much filler. Of course, if too much is placed, then that swelling is going to remain for a longer time. Can under eye fillers stretch the skin? I think in terms of stretching the skin, by definition, if we're putting volume, we stretch the skin a little bit, but it's never very significant. Normally, people who have more and more fillers under their eyes as progressing age carries on, they're going to get extra skin anyway. So, short answer, not really. Next, can under eye filler cause blindness? Sadly, yes, it could cause blindness if the filler is inadvertently injected into an artery. Now, filling the nose is the number one cause of blindness. Filling the glabella area, you know, these two worry lines or frown lines that people get. That's the number one cause. Around the eyes is probably the third most common cause. Can under eye fillers cause headaches? Not that I know of. Next, can under eye fillers be removed? Yes, any filler can be removed if it's hyaluronic acid. And we wouldn't think about using any other filler under the eye except your own natural fat, which incidentally cannot be removed very easily. So, under eye fillers can be removed with an enzyme called Hyalase, which we will inject under the eye and within seven or eight hours, it's all gone. Next, can under eye filler, whoops, we took everything off that time. All right, let's look at this up here. Can under eye fillers cause wrinkles? That's a tricky question. That's a loaded question. Whoever got that question, smart. Okay, no, it doesn't cause wrinkles per se, but if there is loose skin, obviously the filler occupies space, pushes that skin up, and it may appear like the wrinkles under the eye have increased somewhat. On the other hand, if we place fillers laterally, i.e. on the side of the eye, under, around the cheek, eye junction, actually can improve wrinkles. So yeah, that's a kind of complicated question. Next one, can you lay down after under eye filler? Can you lay down after under eye fillers? Yeah, you can lie down. <laughs> okay, next one. Can you wear makeup after under eye filler? Look, generally speaking, I think the problem is most people come with too much makeup. So we have to normally scrub it, take it right off. But I normally advise people that you should not wear makeup at least six hours after the procedure. People say it really should be as much as 24 hours because the small punctures which you make can have a full time to seal and less chance of infection. By the way, I've never in 21 years seen any infection from fillers injected, you know, say within 48 hours or anything like that. Can under eye fillers be felt? Yeah, the answer is yes. If under eye fillers are placed too much or in excess, you can feel it under the skin if it gets sometimes encapsulated. That means there's a little capsule around it. So you can actually feel them quite clearly. So they can be felt, but then in the, really speaking, they should not be felt. So if they can be felt, there is a problem. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that little question and answer of commonly asked questions with under eye fillers. And before everything falls apart, we will hope to see you on the next Autocomplete. Bye now.